sign for above my bed. Now, um, I see these signs all over um, and they're pretty pricey. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to make my own. And I love making things myself and putting my touches on things. So I had my husband cut this piece of wood out for me. And I also have some, that is Ezra in the back playing with his toys. And I also have some trim that's going to go around here as well. And I also cut out some words with my Cricut that I'm going to be putting on here. And I've got some paint, stain, and some glue. So if y'all are ready to see what I'm going to do with this, then let's get to it. So on that piece of board, y'all, I went ahead and traced around where the trim's going to be. That is because I do not want to paint that area. That part is going to be um, used to glue on the trim. So I didn't want to paint it because the paint's not going to stick. So that is why I have that little lines there that's drawn and I'm trying to be careful not to get any paint on that. And if I do a little bit, it's fine. But for the most part, I want to keep it um, just bare wood. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first layer of paint. This is just some flat interior paint. This is nothing special. If you are making this, you can use um, chalk paint. That is what I would prefer. But since I am cheap, I like to use flat paint. And it's also pretty similar to chalk paint. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And after that, I will show you guys what I do next. Alright y'all, so now that the first coat is on, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and I'm going to get started on the trim. Now the trim is getting stained with my favorite stain, Kona, and I am going to put that on all four pieces and let those dry. And if you can see, I do have a little bit of stain on the back of these pieces, but it's fine. It's not enough to not let the glue stick. So I'm trying my best to not get stain on the back side of these, but it's going to be hard. So I'm doing my best and yeah, I'm sure everything will be fine as long as it's not fully saturated. And I know it's been a while since I've done a DIY y'all, but I'm so excited. I have told y'all that I'm doing a bedroom makeover and on the part that I'm doing a makeover I wanted new decor so I decided to go ahead and make them. Now it's easy to just go and buy things but I like to make my own. I like to put my own touches on things. It just means a lot more to me and plus I can make it the way that I want and customize it to my liking. So yeah and it's also really really fun. All right, y'all, so now that I have stained the trim, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the second coat of paint.
All right, y'all. So now I'm going to go ahead and start on the trim. The paint is dry. So I'm just putting a little bit of wood glue and I'm securing the, the trim with these clothespins. Now you can use clamps if you have them. I don't know where my husband's are at the moment and he's at work. So I'm just using what I have, just something to hold them in place while it dries. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around the board. And it really doesn't take long for wood glue to dry so I'm just gonna leave it like this for about 30 minutes or so and then I will come back to the next step all right y'all so now we are moving on to the part where I'm going to be getting my vinyl transfer ready now I printed these earlier on my Cricut and I'm gonna go ahead and get those ready to be put on to the um, wood piece now Oh my goodness, I had such a hard time with my transfer tape. This this transfer tape is really, 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 really sticky, y'all. Now, I had to go and print out the first word so many times because it was so sticky. And what I ended up doing to be able to do this and use my transfer tape, because this is all that I had, was I just put it on top of a towel and just pulled it off so many times just to get the tape not so tacky and I was able to get them to work but it was a it was a lot of work just to get that to work so I'm not sure why um, it doesn't say if it's a strong grip transfer tape or not but I was just having that much um, trouble with it so I'm going to be purchasing something different to use I will no longer purchase this one because it is my first time ever using transfer tape um, when I bought this one and it just hasn't been a great experience Now, a lot of people have the same style sign all in their house. I see them um, really above their bed. And that's, you know, what I've been looking into because I've been wanting to redo the decor that I have up there. And I was thinking for a long time about what to put on there. Um, I had a lot of options, but I just wanted something different, something that I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen some that says, kiss me goodnight, or let's cuddle, or this and that, you know, and I didn't want that. I wanted mine to stand out. So that's why I decided to go with olive juice. Now, if you know, you know, this is something that me and my husband have had in our relationship from the beginning. And um, if you don't know what that is, that is where you can say olive juice and you can read the person's lips and it says, I love you. And that is something me and my husband's always done. And after a while of me just thinking, I realized that that's, that's what I wanted to go with. It meant something to me and my husband and, and it was different. So that's why I went with olive juice. I found a cute font and that is what I did so I 
yeah, let me know down below what you think of it. And I'm so excited to share this with you. Hopefully it gave somebody some ideas on their own DIY. And I have another DIY coming that's going to go alongside this as well. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye y'all. So sorry about the bitter end. I'm so sorry if I'm